Houston with Texas quarterback Quinn Ewers. Quinn, welcome to What's BYU Sports. Yeah. Thanks How for doing, opening man? things up with us, How man. How we doing? I feel we're, honored to open it up here. Hey, we're stoked, dude. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, it's going to be a long day, but hey, it's going to be fun, though. I feel like you're on brand. You got jeans, you got boots. <laughs> this is like what I would expect you, from you a look comfortable. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm trying to be. I'm <laughs> trying. I feel comfortable, though. Let's go. I think every BYU fan wants to know. Now that you play for a former BYU quarterback, Steve Sarkeesian, what's that relationship and dynamic like with Coach Sarkeesian? Yeah, um, he's he's a great coach, a great um, leader for the team. Uh, you know what he's brought to to this university has been great. Um, obviously, he's 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 won national championships. He's played the position that I play, um, and like I said, he knows what it looks like. He knows what it's supposed to be, uh, which ultimately is what you look for. And, and the top guy and the top leader. So, yeah. And obviously, he, he was a good baller. He's a good player yeah. at BYU. Has we, he reminded you about his <laughs> Cotton Bowl victory? He has. He has. <laughs> nice. He has. That was such a huge win. And, and we're old enough to have gone to the games when he was playing, which was super fun. And obviously, being at Texas, give us a sense of what it's like to be the Texas starting quarterback and the pressure of not only Texas, but obviously going to the SEC, want to win the league for the first time since 09 in the final year. You're the preseason pick. There's always pressure, but, like, there's sort of a unique vibe, it feels like, this season for Texas. Yeah. Um, you know, I try not to look at it that way, kind of not pressure. I mean, we, I'm playing a kid's game here. Uh, I'm trying to have fun like a kid. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's all fun, you know. Uh, and ultimately, if you look at it that way, it, it'll probably work out because you won't be as stressed mentally. Um, but obviously, it, it's it's hard to kind of block out, you know, some stuff that's going on. Um but you, you have to, um, you know, I think I got, I got a great corner around me. I got great teammates to kind of lean on and, and, uh, hopefully they can lean on me too. Um, but yeah, like you guys said, I'm, I'm really fired up for this year. I'm excited. It's been, been a great off season. Sorry. Absolutely. Texas quarterback Quinn Ewers is with us on BYU sports nation. You were rolling and the Texas offense was rolling. Then you get nicked up and banged up a little <laughs> bit. So, uh, how are, how are you feeling overall health wise as, as you move into a new season? Yeah, I feel great. I really, I really took a lot of time this off season to kind of, kind of get how I want to feel. Um, and this is the healthiest I've felt since, you know, probably when I was a kid. You know, just being all, you know, wobbly. But no, I feel, I feel a lot better. Um, I got a good trainer in Chad Marr who, who's helped me out with some issues that I got going on, kind of in the hips, because I had double hernia surgery yeah. back in high school, uh, which obviously is not, is no joke. It's no joke, and it kind of moved to my lower back, and you know. Uh, I'll give so much credit to, to Chad Mar. He's up in South Lake, where I'm from, but um, he's helped me out a whole lot, kind of, kind of with uh, you know stabilizing um, and just feeling better overall. We were talking before the interview. Uh, you you know Jake Oldroyd's brother? Is that what you were yeah, saying? Yeah, we we he went we went to the same high school. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know him a little bit. He's he play he's, he's pretty good at golf. Is he pretty good at golf? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Jake, it's been a while since a I've, it's been a while since I've seen him. But you know, yeah. the last time I did because. We went to the same elementary school, so, yeah. <laughs> South Lake Carroll guys, McKay Jacobson, BYU fans know, uh, which is awesome. You, you return a ton on offense. Obviously, Bijan Robinson's gone, who he's with Tyler Algier, BYU guy with the Falcons. We're excited mm -hmm. about that connection. But you have your whole O-line back. you got a ton of ballers led by Xavier Worthy. You have one of the best tight ends in the country, um, which is awesome. What is it going to be like to have this offense this year as the starting quarterback? Yeah, like you said, I mean, the biggest part of it is having all five of those guys back at the front of the line, um, you know, and some of those guys were true freshmen last year playing, and, you know, for for them to step up the way they did last year, I'm giving so much credit, and I'm excited to see what they do this year. And then in the receiver room, uh, I mean, the sky's the limit with those guys. Uh, they they made a decision. They want to be the be they want to be one of the best uh, receiving uh, groups in the nation, and I I believe it. It's 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 very reachable for them, and you know, I'm excited. We got Ad Mitchell, obviously. Um, and then Jordan Winnington came back, decided to come back another year, which yeah. is absolutely huge. I mean, you know, I was begging him, please come back. <laughs> I mean, he's just, he's just one of those guys, though, you know. We uh, felt differently when we saw the news, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's just. <laughs> We're like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, he's he's a baller. Um, and obviously he's good for the younger guys coming yeah. in, like Niblet and, and a couple other younger guys. But, yeah, I'm fired up for this year. There was a portion of the Texas Twitter mob, and so passionate, that felt a level of depression when you decided to cut your hair, Quinn. <laughs> so yeah. like, walk us through that decision because, like, that it had, like, a personality of its own almost. Was there a Twitter account or anything for it? Like, did anyone... Man, I don't have Twitter. Uh, I don't, I don't, <laughs> That's probably good. Yeah, I don't – I gave the – I gave the password and username to somebody else, so I don't, I don't, I don't look at Twitter. Um, 
But, you know, I definitely heard the noise for sure. So <laughs> it always comes. I mean, you know, they, they, they loved it, but it was, ultimately I looked at it like it was time for me to kind of grow up, kind of, yeah. you know, get, get myself, you know, right. And, you know, that was, it was too, it was too long, man. It was like touching my back. I was kind of weird. It was impressive, <laughs> Quinn. It was very impressive. Yeah. It, it was awesome. I don't know what conditioner you used, but it was, it was nice, man. October 28th, BYU's going to play at Texas, and they, they played there in 2014. They played there in 2011. So there's a little bit of history within the last decade or so. What, what's, what's game day like at Texas for those who haven't been and, and the BYU fans that will go to that game? Yeah, I mean, you're going to expect a great crowd, great turn up, 100,000 people. Um, you know, if, you're, if you, you, you have a good view of the city, probably, uh, if you're sitting on the uh, – on the north side, so uh, I mean, it's going to be a great environment, uh, a whole lot of fun, um, especially for BYU fans to kind of come down to Austin. You know, obviously there's a whole lot to do in Austin, um, so you know, before the game or after the game, you guys are going to have a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Um, but you know, being in DKR personally, it's, it's it's nothing like it, nothing like that rush when you're running out of the tunnel. So, uh, hope you guys come and be loud. Yeah, be awesome. Texas, of course, we chronicled picked to finish first. BYU picked to finish 11th. The Cougars making a new transition, so. When you view BYU football, like what what is your perspective of, of what BYU brings to this conference this year? Yeah, I think it's great. Um, like you guys were saying earlier, you wanted to be a part of a, a big conference, and I think it's great for you guys to to come um, and be a part of the Big 12. I mean, we couldn't be more excited for, for the changes that were made by the administration. Um, and it's kind of cool to kind of switch things up and play, you know, different teams instead of playing the same, the same guys. Yeah. Um, and obviously – Coach Sarkeesian being at BYU, I'm sure he's pretty excited too. So it should be a good time. Quinn, great to have you on BYU Sports Station, man. We, we appreciate the time. You're great personality and uh, wish you the best of luck moving forward, man. Thank you, guys. Stay comfortable Thank in the booth, man. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate nice, you guys. Nice to meet you, Quinn. I'm going to try. I mean, these are pretty comfortable. Luke Casey, shout out Luke Casey. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Nice. Let's go.